My name is Gary Burns and uh, I'm also known as Wiz or the Tree Wizard and I started carving in back in 1971. I was putting myself through college and didn't have any money for Christmas gifts and um, started goofing around and every Christmas I'd come up with a few ideas for gifts for my family and that until 1978. I'd been wanting to do it full time for, a lo for all that time and I s took the plunge and been carving full time ever since. Uh, I started selling the carvings um, at a flea market in Sacramento area and um, worked my way into craft shows. It was tricky learning how to f photograph the carvings to get accepted into the shows and at first the shows were real s small little strip mall shows and as time went on I got into some of the better craft shows and felt like I really needed to have my own gallery and that that was going to be the way to to do it and, and eventually got my own gallery and had one for 16 years in the Sierras and that was really good but it really tied me down and um, all I did was carve and was in my gallery and I had a family and it took me away from that a little bit and um, I ended up selling the gallery and um, moving from the Sierras to Southern Oregon where I started um, helping a friend at the Earl shop in Kirby. I <clears throat> just loved to carve from the very beginning. I loved the smell of the wood and the way the sawdust flew and, um, and, and the idea of taking something away to leave something. To, you take away everything that doesn't look like a wizard and, and there the wizard is. A lot of my uh, carving has been totally evolution where I I'll do something and then looking at it after it's done come up with an idea of how to do it a little bit better the next time and where at the beginning it was a lot about rules and um, figuring out how to make something uh, finished looking where now I try to forget all the rules and try to go more with um, being in the moment being present watching it happen and listening and constantly going and doing a little bit of what looks like the next thing is to do. Um, so I'm, I'm looking over here and carving some on the eye and then I don't know really what more to do there so I'll look over and notice that the nose needs working on and I just bounce around on a face. Um, and a lot of the inspiration can come from the wood, just the shape of the piece of wood. Most of my um, sales have been doing things that other people haven't done and the tree carvings that I do are some of the only I'm maybe the only one that doesn't quite like what I do so um, the sales have, were rough at the beginning but as the uh, carving evolved I um, they became better and more more detailed and um, and I'm doing better than I ever have um, but I see that there's a lot fewer carvers out there than there used to be and so that it's not quite as competitive when it comes to carving, at least in the United States. It's such a worldwide um, marketplace now, like Etsy is a worldwide market and looking on um, the site and seeing carvers from Bulgaria and from all over the world now, where when I started it was only the carvers that were in California. and. Uh, so it's an interesting, interesting world now, a lot different than it was when I got started back 40 years ago.